Jackson zigzagging around the Coliseum on Saturday. It'll be fun to watch as the Trojans take on Stanford this Saturday at 5 o'clock at the Coliseum. We are back on Trojans Live. Jordan Moore and John Jackson on ESPN LA 710. This segment of Trojans Live is brought to you by Allstate. The Trojans are in good hands with Scott Felix and Alex Wood. And part of the reason we brought you two on, we've got a outside linebacker and a kicker here today, but <laughs> it's Pac-12 Student Awareness Week. And oh. so one of the things that you know everyone we're doing is <laughs> emphasizing all the other things you guys do besides just play football. Scott, I noticed, you know, the first thing I noticed with you, you're a theater major. Yeah. I don't know if a lot of people would have expected that. <laughs> no, when, not too many people do. When did you, uh, <laughs> when did you develop your passion for theater? Uh, it's more into acting, not necessarily theater itself. but uh, You're a movie star. Uh, uh, not yet. Not <laughs> yet there, you know. So, um, I don't know. I just When I got here, I took a couple classes in uh, theater, and I just kind of fell in love with the whole a uh, aspect of acting and um, just being able to transform yourself into somebody else is really interesting to me. Is it something that you could see yourself? I mean, we have seen some football players transition you know, after their careers. I mean, there's all kinds of uh, all kinds of roles out there for yeah, you. Yeah, I think it's definitely a possibility. Uh, professors come to me, you know, after class or when I'm done taking the course, say that I'm, you know, I'm decent, you know, so <laughs> it gives me a little bit of hope. So I, I think that, yeah, it's definitely a possibility. Yeah, Alex, and, you know, for you, you know, talk about just the, the balance that it takes to be successful in the classroom and also on the field. I mean, the commitment, I mean, I was there. It's, it's amazing. Right? Yeah, I mean, it just takes a lot of time management. That's what's key to me is, like, balancing going to practice and then getting your studies in and go actually going to class. And, <laughs> <laughs> and um, yeah, just doing all your homework and actually uh, studying and also doing well on the field so it's, it's tough alex it, is a 3.34 gpa guy and as a team you guys had the best gpa on record for the football program in the spring how much pride did, did you guys take in that sarks really took a lot of pride in that um especially after coach baxter left we uh because he did the whole academic game plan thing and we were really uh into that and we were wondering kind of where we were going to go after that but as soon as coach stark came in he made it part of uh like his emphasis and we we followed through. Yeah. You know, Scott, talk about that in terms of responsibility because, you know, football players are known to, you know, miss a lot of classes and all that kind of stuff. Yeah. And you, trust no. me, I was there. You know, but when, you know, the commitment it takes to you know, have the discipline to get up and go do it. Um, yeah. You know, explain, you know, what drives you inside because I know a lot of people are – well, everybody that gets a scholarship at USC is planning on playing in the NFL, right? Yeah. At the end of the day, though, the academics have to take a priority. You know, yeah. you know talk about that a little bit. I just think that – Having people go to class and, you know, having our high GPA that we had a uh, recent semester, I think that just reflects on our team personality and how it's just taking care of business. You know, it, it can be easy for us to just ditch class and not really, uh, you know, take care of our business. But I think when our whole team is taking care of that, we can just focus on football. We don't have to worry about guys coming in late or, you know, we're getting text messages saying that we have to come in early and run in the morning because somebody missed. I think it just I think it just takes care of the overall responsibility on our team and just you know reflects on our attitude. Yeah, they used to call me. I was a uh, 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 pack, uh, academic all American. I think I was not a communication. <laughs> man. Not a communication. <laughs> I was academic all American when you know when I played, and they used to call me academia. Right, oh. and academia was sort of like the joke that you know that you actually go to class. You guys are not that way though, right? It's like no. sort of like hey, if you're not doing it. Yeah. You're more you're in more trouble than if you are doing it. Yeah, exactly. the hardest part is walking to class to me. I mean, once you're once you're in there, you're fine. Don't you don't have like an air wheel uh, like everyone else on the team. No, I'm trying to, I'm trying around to get campus. One. I got to save some money to get one. Alex, one of the coolest things we saw a video this year of you and Christian Tober getting your scholarships in front of the team room, and, and Sark really surprised you. What, what, what did that moment mean to you? You know, you you came here. I was I had forgotten your first game. Really, the first game you played in was that Stanford game a long time ago, yeah. 2012. Uh, crazy game, uh, yeah. you know, this sort of culmination of it. Now, as you're the starting kicker, and, and you got a scholarship. Yeah, no, that that morning, was, that morning was unbelievable. I still, I still think about it every day. I uh, went into meetings pretty tired, uh, just kind of not zoning out, but just hearing <laughs> hearing everything you're saying, soaking it in, taking it all in. And then he started to kind of call me out and said, "What do you, if I if I tell you to kick it deep left, you got to kick it deep left." And I was like, "Oh, I thought I did a pretty good job of that at practice this week. <laughs> I didn't know really what was going on." And then he just kind of pointed and was like, because you're on scholarship now. And then it just like, my feelings just like, <laughs> oh, everything was. And then everyone started dogpiling me and stuff. And then Tober, which is awesome too. I, everyone loves Christian Tober, and he definitely deserves it. Very thankful. Yo, Scott, talk about your career a little bit, because it's been a little bit up and down. I mean, you're not up and down from an injury standpoint, right? I mean, there's been a lot of injuries you had to battle through. Now it seems like you're back, you know, 100% healthy. Yeah. You know, just talk about the difference of, you know, what you had to make it through to get here for this senior year and, 
finally be healthy. Yeah, it's definitely been a tough road. You know, it's not something I envisioned coming out of high school that I was going to come through all these injuries. But I think that, you know, everything happens for a reason. I think that everything that happened to me led me to this point in order to succeed. And, you know, I feel like now it's my time. You know, it's our, our time as a team. And you know, I'm just excited because, you know, we see the work that we all put in every day. And, you know, I think that you can you can come around and, you know, act cocky and all that stuff. But if you're not putting in the preparation, you know, and, putting in the work when nobody else is watching then it's just like you know it's phony yeah. so but I, I feel like i put in a lot of work and i know that my teammates have too so that just gives me most confidence in the world to go out there and succeed with them on saturdays well it is a big man's game coming up this weekend scott do you, you let these young guys know you got one at your position that the physical test is going to be a little bit different this week than maybe the first two weeks oh yeah stanford stanford's fun <laughs> we, we we like that game you know it's old school football nowadays so you know, when we when we have somebody, you know, coming in like Stanford, who's an opposing team, like physically, that just kind of, you know, we kind of relish that. And uh, I think that our us linebackers are really going to embrace that, you know, and we like we like that type of game. You know, Alex, I'm going to ask a real question for Pete, Pete, Pete Arbogast. Whenever you come in to kick a field goal, we always talk about your range, right? right. Yep. Give us the official range. like Official range. Official, official range. range. How, far, how far you kick a field goal? Official range. <laughs> I would say exactly. 60. 60. <laughs> um, yeah, you can say whatever you want. It's right. I'd say consistently between 50 and 55. Gotcha. But uh, the official range, according to Coach Stark, is if I'm on the field, it's in my range. Okay, yep. perfect. Well, the, la- the last two yep. years, the game's come down to a kick. Yep. And Andre yep. Haddari has nailed it both times, the Cardinal killer. So maybe Alex Wood will get his name in this rivalry's history coming up this Saturday. Forget uh, two points for safety. Try up to 20% because with Allstate safe drivers with a good driving record can save up to 20% on car insurance with a distinguished driver discount. And that's on top of other discounts. So don't wait. Call Allstate Agency, Allsap, and Associates today. Thank you to Scott Felix and to Alex Wood.